Audio story number one, Duck, Bill, and Ben, written and narrated by Bully Steam, and sound effects by G.W. Shunter. Duck was on his way to work on Edward's branch line. The old engine needed to go in for repair, and therefore, Duck was needed to work on the Brenda branch line. He arrived at Wellsworth, where Boko was. Oh, hello, Duck, Boko said warmly. How are you? I hadn't expected to see you here. Duck smiled. Oh, I'll be working on the branch line, he said proudly. Boko looked worried. Oh, I, I see, Boko said, almost with a hint of distaste. Is there something wrong, Boko? asked Duck inquisitively. Boko looked at Duck with slight worry. Well, I'm not questioning your expertise, but it's Bill and Ben. Not every engine knows how to handle those two, said Boko. Duck stared for a moment, but then smiled. Oh, don't worry about those two, Boko, he said confidently. If I remember the schedule, I shouldn't be working with them too often, so I think I'll be fine, said Duck. He gave Boko a reassuring look. Hmm. Okay, Duck, I'll take your word for it. But if they do give you any trouble, just tell me. And I'll take care of them, said Boko, with a firm but gentle tone in his voice. Duck smiled, and he rolled away to collect his coaches. As he reversed onto the coaches, he was very kind and very gentle. He hadn't worked on a branch line in quite some time, and had only been used to working in the yard. He brought them into the station, where the passengers got on board. Soon he was able to depart. Duck and his three coaches left the station, went through Suttery Junction. Duck found the line to be incredible. He had only worked at Wellsworth once, and even though this was part of the branch line, he never made it past the junction. He admired the sights of the branch line, and made sure to stop at each station. Soon he arrived at Brenda, where he stopped to let the passengers off. Just then, he heard two high-pitched whistles Coming into the station was Bill and Ben. They stopped on the opposite track and smirked. Hey, look at this, Ben. A duck's water out of the sea, said Bill. I see that, Bill. Perhaps we should throw it back in, joked Ben. The two engines thought this a great joke. Duck, however, was frowning. Oh, ha, ha, very funny. However, I think you best get back to the quarry. From what I hear, you two are very busy, Duck said firmly. However, Bill and Ben just laughed. Oh look, Ben, the duck doesn't just quack, he talks, said Bill. The two tank engines burst out with laughter. Duck was furious, but didn't say anything as the two yellow tank engines left Brandon. Duck had run round his train and was ready for the return journey. He arrived at Wellsworth on time, and to his surprise, Gordon was on the other platform. Gordon? What are you doing here? asked Duck. You're never taking the local. Gordon looked down at his buffers. Well, um, due to a certain incident involving my dome. Just then, Duck laughed. Oh yes, your dome fell off, didn't it? laughed Duck. Gordon was very embarrassed. Well, I, um, never mind. Say, I was working on Edward's branch line. Gordon asked. Duck smiled. So far, so good. But then his smile quickly turned to a frown. Well, except for Bill and Ben. Gordon laughed. Oh, have you had trouble with those little scamps? Gordon asked. Only one encounter with them, but they're more trouble than they're worth, said Duck. Gordon started laughing. Well then, you need to beat them at their own game said Gordon. Duck was confused. What do you mean? I'm not a natural prankster. But Gordon just laughed. Oh, Duck, you might not be, but on Thomas's branch line, we do know one particular prankster, said Gordon. Duck was confused, but then it clicked. Oh, is he really up for it? asked Duck. I think he will be. I'll ask him when I return to Knapford, said Gordon, as he departed with his local. As Gordon left, 
Duck really wondered if the engine they were talking about would be up for this.